Before you start assembling equipment, make sure that the area that you're working is clear and free from debris. You don't want any dust, you don't want any equipment, you don't want any food or drinks in that area. Make sure everybody's been moved away and make sure you've got a three metre exclusion zone. We're now going to start assembling the equipment. As you can see to my left, there's power already there for us because we're going to need 240 volts to run the equipment that we're going to use today. I'm going to start by unpacking the air conditioning unit. Straightforward, you turn the box over so it's flat down, clips, open the box up, remove the air conditioning unit. At this point, note which way the air conditioning unit goes in. It only goes back in the box one way. Take the air conditioning unit out, and as you can see, there is four rollers attached on clips. We're only going to blow two fibres today, so I'm just going to use two rollers just to demonstrate. I'm going to split the box into two because we only need one section of the box. As you can see, you've got brackets built in. Unscrew the bracket, click them up into the upright position so you can mount your rollers. These rollers may seem quite solid. They're only made of aluminium and they've got rubber bushes on. You've got to be very, very careful not to twist or bend them. If you bend them, you'll damage them and they won't operate correctly. Slide your rollers in. And make sure everything spins freely, which that does. Right, from this point now you now need to pick your tripod. Bring your tripod over and then you know that you've got plenty of room and everything fits correctly, as it does. Now I'm going to load the fibre drums onto the um, spindles. Right, the fibres always need to come up the centre of the spindles. So if you've got two racks, they always need to come up the centre. So you fit it to ensure that the cable is going to come up the centre. You push it onto the spindle, refit. Again, make sure that the fibre is coming up the correct way. Onto the spindle, refit, make sure that they move freely, which they do, that's fine. I'm going to bring the air conditioning unit a bit closer in, and now I'm going to unpack the tractor unit. Clamp the tractor unit onto the tripod, open the box, the lid slides off, and now you've got your tractor unit. You bring the cable reeler down so the fibres always feed through and into the head. Before we go any further, we're going to have to make sure we've got the right head attachment fitted. This is set up for four fibres, and because we're only going to blow two, we're going to have to change that, which we'll do now. The box comes with different heads. You've got eight, two, and four, which is fitted. We're now going to put the two on, so you get the unit ready. Unscrew the four Allen screws holding the head in position, the unit then slides out and it's got a rubber seal, make sure the rubber seal comes with it and make sure you, the head what you're changing it for has also got the rubber seal on. It's got a protector so we put the protective cap back on. Right, now I'm going to use a piece of steel just to clean the hypodermics out to make sure there's no dirt inside. If there is, it'll stop the fibres moving. Right, that head is now ready to be fitted. 
So slide it in, it finds its own way in, screws back in, tighten all your screws finger tight, Once you've got all four screws in and finger tight, just do a quick visual inspection to make sure it looks okay before finally nipping these up. Now when you're nipping up, it's always better to work diagonally and then you're keeping the surface flat against the body of the, the machine. You don't need to put any, any pressure on them at all. Okay, that's complete. Put everything back in your toolbox and you don't lose it. And that's now complete. Now we're going to get everything prepared. So for a start you need to get your power on. Plug at the back. Straight forward. Plug in. Ensure the machine comes on. You'll see the red light come on to show that it's working. Switch back off because we're not ready yet. Get your air conditioning unit into position. Plug that in. Bring your compressor near to your air conditioning unit. Again, compressor straight into the air conditioning unit. Air conditioning unit straight into the board. We're now ready to start blowing fibres, but before we do, we need to make sure that the equipment's all switched on. So start by switching your compressor on. Close the air return valve on the air conditioning unit. You'll hear it starting to fill up. This is an important point. If it fills up and builds up too much pressure, it will blow the green valve on the top. So be very, very careful not to build up too much pressure. If pressure's building up and you're not going to use the machine straight away, push the return valve down to release the air. What we need to do now is, we need to bring the fibres up into the head. So, the fibres have to come up the middle. So bring the fibre up, bring it into the head, into the back of the hypodermic, just gently slide it into the hypo. When it hits a stop, which it will, which it has, inch the fibre in, and you'll see it's starting to take it in. Bring up your second fibre, into the machine, push it in till it stops, inch, there you go, that's both fibres now in the machine. So now we're ready to start blowing. And at this point I'll set up the demonstration equipment so you can see it blowing through a tube and how it blows. We're now going to blow fibres, but to make this simpler, we're going to use a Bramrex blow light demonstration unit. This is basically a three millimetre tube, uh, which you'll be able to see the fibres run through and eventually they'll come out of the tube and you'll see them come out. The compressor's now switched on, the air is running through the air conditioning unit and it's coming up into the blowhead tractor unit. The fibres are ready in the blowhead, ready to go. What we need to do now is open the valve to let the air through and air will start coming out of the hypodermic at the end of the blowing unit. I will then bring the fibres through slowly and stop the machine. Right, I count up, I've got two fibres which is correct. I'll break the fibres off at this point because now they need to go into the tubes. 
We've now connected the 3mm tube to the demonstration unit. In a moment I'll switch everything on. You will see the fibres run down the tube and they will run round and round the demo unit. I'll now start opening the valve up to release the pressure down the tube. I've got 7 bar of pressure and I'll now start feeding the fibres down the tube. You can see where they are now and you'll see them start to move. I'll increase the speed. You may start to see the fibres spinning down the tubes. 